Instead of what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to have a look at a structural simulation. Um, you can see that I've been bringing in a space claim file, but the truth is I can actually bring in many different file formats. I'm just going to create this structural simulation here out of structural steel. And quite quickly, we're going to actually start with our simulation. A couple of the basic things that we need is just some batching conditions and some loads as well. Very quickly, we've got some results on the screen. And if I have a look at my deformation, I can understand how this thing is actually deforming. Now, I've actually put this in the wrong direction. What I'm going to do on the left hand side, I've got my gravity panel. I'm not interested in uh, a negative Z. I actually want it to be negative um, 9.81 in the Y direction. Bam. So this is doing exactly what I wanted to do now. So now looking at my model, um, I can see that I've got equivalent stress uh, plotted on all the surfaces. I can also have a look at the maximum stress value. You can see this is quite a bit model. So if I was to move it around, I'm going to highlight the, the maximum stress areas. Now, one of the things I'd like to do, I'm going to switch this back to the surface um, and I'm actually going to change the boundary conditions. Again, that's one of the things about Discovery Live. You can quite easily change uh, any boundary conditions and understand exactly how the stress um, updates and how it changes. You can see I've got these, uh, these stress concentrations around this corner. So I want to address that. One of the things that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create some sort of rib around here. I'm going to create a cross section, bring it in all the way, and using my line tool, I'm going to create something for me. And now I'm just going to rough out what this is going to look like. And you can see as quickly as I've been talking about it, this 2D sketch has been turned into a 3D object and it's been added to the computational domain. As soon as we've been talking, again, we've got the, uh, the stress that's actually been updated. And you can clearly see that I've put it on the wrong end. So I'm just going to create a plane and I'm going to mirror that object using that plane as well. What that's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to, to understand exactly how, how this thing um, affects the stress concentration around that area. Scan. Now just waiting for the results to come up, we can see how it's changed. We can see the stress concentration has changed and we can start to make some additional changes to here.